today we're going to be working on adding a button to our menu. Uh, so let me uh, go ahead and press P here. We'll hit escape, brings in our menu here, or we can click the menu button there. I'm going to add a little button up here. Um, that's for the level credits, because uh, hopefully viewers and users of the game will be creating their own levels, and they'll want to get credit for it. So we're going to add a button, uh, which will hopefully then uh, move this out of the way and slide in a new menu. So let's go ahead and uh, hit back to go back to our game here. And in fact, I'll hit Q to exit out of this. Okay. Um, so let's go up 10 frames or 11 frames. Well, 10 frames from one frame one to frame 11, 10 frames. And let's go ahead and we'll say um, plane, import images as plane. Make sure we choose um, shadeless, use alpha, pre-multiply. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say um, menu. I have already created a uh, menu level credit PNG here. Import that. And um, you can see a little preview of it up there. If we go to side view here, scroll in, you can see it's right there, but it's facing upwards. So we're going to hit R um, for rotate. X90, and um, then I'll go back into front view here, and let's hit Z to go into wireframe mode. So there it is right there. Uh, we're going to move it up like this. I'll go into side view. We want it just in front of this plane here. So let's go ahead and choose that, grab it, and move it right there. Now that it's in front of it, uh, we can go back to camera view, and we'll even turn back on our um, oh, not that button textured mode. There it is, kind of small, so we'll scale it up a little. Grab it, we'll put it right there. And with it selected, we'll shift select this menu and control P to parent it. So now if we start our game, oops, let's uh, exit out of that, Q to quit, go back to frame one here, start our game, we'll click menu, and you can see it's attached there, so it will follow that menu. Okay, great. So now We'll hit uh, Q to quit. And uh, what we have to do is bring in our other menu now. So once again, we're going to hit spacebar, import images as plain, shadeless, use alpha pre-multiply. Uh, and we're going to choose uh, game menu level credits dot PNG here. Import as plain, rotate X 90, just like before. We'll go into the side view here. We'll grab and move it up to here camera view. We'll scale it up big. Let's go up 10 frames to frame 11. And let's scale this. Grab it. Scale it. Grab it. And there we go. So there is our menu that we want to come in when you press that menu button. So uh, I need to set some keyframes for that. Let's scale it up just a little bit bigger because I want it to cover up the other menu. And I'm just going to say um, at frame 11, which we're at, I'm going to hit I. And I'm going to hit, uh, I'll say, to set location, rotation, and scale, even though we're probably uh, not going to use all three of those. It doesn't hurt to set them either way. We'll go back down to frame 1. And I will zoom out a little bit by scrolling my mouse wheel, grab X, and move it off to the side here. And hit I to set a keyframe. So now, if I hit my right arrow, you can see the animation. Obviously, they won't be coming in at the same time. That is where we uh, get into some coding here. Well, not really coding, logic editor here. So I'm going to select my plane that has my level credit button here. And um, let's actually click on the exit button here, or the back button, or actually this menu button would be best. Because we're going to do basically the same thing that we did before. Let's control up arrow to see this full screen here. And what we have here is we have um, when the mouse is over and left clicks, what we do is, uh, well, that's quit game, da -da 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 -da. action menu. It does an action ping pong from frame 1 to frame 11 for our game menu. So we're going to do basically the same thing for this. So, and then we'll also set a key, uh, probably. We'll see. I haven't really thought this out a whole lot. <laughs> I just figure it'd be simple, which it should be. What we're going to do is we'll click this, 
and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say here sensor when mouse we'll add two sensors for mouse and one will be left click the other one will be mouse over so when the mouse is over that and it's left clicked um, we are going to then connect it to this and this and then we'll shift select this plane which adds it over here and we can now say add an action I believe we said ping pong and we're going to go from frame 1 to frame 11 and not forgetting to connect this um, and then we'll zoom back in here press P to start menu click on credit level it is not working um, Q to quit. Let's see here. What do we do different here? So we're keyboard quit. We do have the animation. And let's see. We have this selected. It's connected there. So when the mouse left button is over our level credit button and it's left clicked then oh do I have to I think I have to choose this here it's a little bit different than previous versions of blender which is what I've uh, been accustomed to in the past I think I just choose uh, game menu level here now let's go ahead and press P menu level there we go so that slides it in but we want to be able to exit out of that we click the menu button here that gets rid of that so um can't really put that menu button there because that would cause an animation when i don't want it uh, unless i add a variable i'm just going through a thought process here um let's hit uh yeah we'll have to add a variable would be the best way to do this i think so q to quit and what we're going to do here is for our plane which we have selected. We're going to add a property. I'll make it an integer here and I'll say show. So when this is equal to one, then we'll do then the animation will be shown and when it's set to zero, it will hide. Yes, that's what we want to do. So what I'm going to do here is um set this I'm thinking sorry uh, let's see this problem with recording development you're going through thought processes here so really instead of this action happening here let's add in a property and what we'll do here is we'll disconnect this and uh, we're going to say assign show show plus one. So every time this property is called it's going to add one to whatever show is. So let's uh, control down here and we'll choose this level. Now instead of before where it was directly controlling the animation I'm going to shift select this and I'm going to say connect. When that button is clicked we're going to add one to whatever show equals which is that right there. And then we are going to say this plane selected property. And we're going to say when property show is equal to one, then we're going to play our animation here. And we're going to say property when. Let's instead of ping pong, let's do play, I think. <laughs> We're going to say now when show is two, then we're going to set it back to property, assign show zero. 
So it'll be one or two, uh, zero or one, and when it hits two, it goes back to zero. So really, it's never really going to be two more than a fraction of a second. So we'll down arrow this, uh, and let's just see what happens now. We'll hit menu, click this, and it shows that. Great, so that's working so far. Quit out of that. And now we're going to say when it equals zero, play the animation the other way. So we'll add in here, and we probably should label these so we don't lose track. We're going to say show equals zero, we'll call that. And we'll call this show plus one, just so when they're minimized, we know what they're doing. And then over here, we're going to say, let's add another action. And hopefully, we can go 11 to 1. And we'll say, when property, mm, no, this is getting back into the problem that we had before that I don't want. Um, so we're going to say, Oh, how about just when it's clicked? That would be a lot easier than all this. So, <laughs> um, we'll just leave it as we have it now, even though doing it the other way probably would have been a little simpler, the way I originally was going to do it. What we're going to do now is we're going to say, uh, with the plane, the menu, uh, credit menu uh, selected, we're going to say mouse, mouse, make this full screen. And we're going to say when left button and mouse over, uh, and we connect these here, then we're going to play the reverse animation. Yes. And we will also set it back to zero. We might remove that later. We might not need that. Okay. So let's have a look. If I did everything properly, menu, credit, click the credit. Let's have a look here. We have when the left mouse button is over it, clicks, then we're going to play the, oh, right, we have to say, yeah, that there. Menu, credit level, click, credit level, click. Okay, there we go. If we click menu again, that goes away. We still need to click that to get rid of that. But looks good to me. So uh, we could actually, we could have added a back button, but I think just clicking it uh, seems to work pretty well. So menu, level credit, click, it goes back, back to game. That's still a little glitch that happens every once in a while when I click back, it comes in. So let's click menu, credit, back, menu. Yeah, I got to figure that one out. Um, but <laughs> even though I had some brain stumps there, which happens when you're developing, um, we've got it working here, at least usable. Oh, we never added in a animation for that. We'll do that in the next tutorial. I don't want this to be too long. So the next tutorial will probably be a short one, just on animating that. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com or filmsbychris.com forward slash pop uh, for more on this game. Thank you again. Have a great day.